There's nothing worse than if your baby just won't stop crying. And it's a really common thing to happen, especially with newborns. And we find it often in the evenings, commonly called colic, or if we have babies that have gas or reflux. So I am going to show you some of the best ways to ensure you can get all that gas out of your baby and to stop them crying. Now I have got my special assistant down here with me, my three and a half month old baby, Clara. <laughs> I'll get her up in a second. And these tips work really well for her. She has got reflux, she has got chasmic protein allergy. She's also got a touch of what they call colic at the moment, which just means excessive crying with no particular rhyme or reason to it, often attributed to gas in babies. She is my third, so I have plenty of practice and I also used to work as a nanny and I work now as a parent coach and I also have my YouTube channel, of course, and my Instagram. So if you're not part of our family, then please do subscribe to the channel. Come along and join us on Instagram or Facebook if that's your preferred social media platform. So let's get stuck into burping tips. This is um, Clara and the normal thing that people do when they burp their baby is put them on their shoulder like this and give them a little pat. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but if you want to make sure that your baby is burped thoroughly, you need to make sure that you're using a firm pat. So that is the first thing to remember. Does that feel good? The pat has got to be nice and firm. No light little taps, it won't do anything. The next thing you can do as well as patting your baby while they're in this position is rubbing their back too. So pat and a rub, and you can try moving them around to slightly different positions. Sometimes having them higher up so their stomach is resting against your shoulder is a really good one. The next thing that you can do is try putting them in a tummy position. Now, lots of newborn babies don't like tummy time. Don't worry, that's not what we're doing. I mean, it is tummy time, but it's not laying them on the floor on their stomachs. What you can do is hold your baby like this. So you put your arm in between their legs and you hold them. If they're a newborn, then you'll have to support their head with your thumb and finger like this as well. And then you can also do the same thing there. So there's lots of patting and rubbing, but it's just different positions. So doing a pat and a rub like this in this position really helps. If you can't do that for whatever reason, then laying them over your lap so that their stomach is resting on your knees. And then you can do the same thing. Make sure, of course, that you have a muzzle in here because they are quite often sick after they've burped when they're in this position. So the next thing you can do is get your baby sitting upright on your knee. You can do this even with a newborn baby. Just make sure that you are supporting the back of their head with your hands like this. Is that funny, Clara? And then what you're going to do, oh, good bird, well demonstrated. What you're going to do is just slowly start moving them around in circles like this. So this really helps to work out the gas bubbles that are stuck inside. So around in circles, you could do some rocking back and forth or side to side. If you want to, you can have them leaning forwards and put their head on your hand. And again, you can do the patting or rubbing like this when they're sitting upright, that sometimes helps rather than being on your shoulder. If those things aren't working, then I would recommend getting up and doing some walking around. Sometimes your movement can help stimulate that gas to come out. Walking up the stairs is one that often works particularly well. These will not only help your baby with their gas, of course, but if they're crying, they will quite often stop them from crying. One of the other things that you can do that really will help your baby with their gas pains is getting some movement in their torso. Now, often we see recommend it recommended to rub our baby's stomachs like this which can be helpful, but often it doesn't really do that much. What you really need to do is get some movement in their hips. So what you can do is lift their hips ever so slightly and you can do some rocks from side to side. You can do some circular movements. <laughs> As you can see, they really like it both ways. And you could also do some figure of eight movements too. And then the last tip really that works well for legs is getting those legs moving and bicycling. So what I like to do is do a little bit of a bicycle and then ever so often just bring the legs up and push them very gently, not hard at all. Just push them up and then that releases all the tension here and you'll often get trumps coming out. So the gas comes out the other way here rather than as burps often. 
it comes out the other side. So lots of nice movements and circular motions and a little push up and wiggle. Is that fun? <laughs> the last tip I have for you is really great if you have an exercise ball. I'm just going to grab mine. So you could use a normal exercise ball. This is actually a pregnancy ball. And then the same kind of idea, what you can do is pop your baby on and just get them moving around because this movement will really help to work out the gas and you can do some bouncing, you can do some rocking back and forth. You could even, if you wanted to, have them on their stomach like this and you can also pat and rub while they're on the ball and that pressure of the ball on their stomach is really soothing and relieving for them, especially if they're suffering with reflux and it will help to work that gas out. I hope these tips were helpful for you. If you have any more of your own that you think work really well with your refluxy or colicky baby, then leave a comment down below to help others. If you have any questions about relieving colic or reflux, then you can ask down below. Just remember, I'm not a medical expert, just a seasoned mum. Sometimes though, it is nice to get advice from other people in the same position, isn't it? Do you like this video? If you liked it, it really does help to just boost me up in that good old YouTube algorithm and show my channel to more people. And then we can keep on making videos like this can't we check back for more soon and we'll see you next time bye everybody